A cash envelope budget is a simple system of designating a part of your family's spending as cash only. When getting started, it can be confusing to figure out which cash envelope system categories to set. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through the six categories you need to get started and show you how to figure out how much cash goes into each one. Everything customized to your family's finances and unique goals. Welcome back, I'm Brittany and this is Pennies Into Pearls where you can come to learn how to take control of your finances so you can create a better life for your family without the stress of budgeting. If that sounds like something you need, and it is, then don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel. Now I need to know something really personal about you. Have you tried cash before? I know, kind of a funny question, but cash used to be the only option available for payment but now it's almost a foreign transaction. Maybe you're thinking right now, I've tried a cash budget before and it didn't work. If that's you, yet you still have a hard time sticking to the budget, you need cash. I do things a little different than most and so many of our pearls are finding huge success doing it this exact way that I'm gonna teach you. Using a cash envelope system is supposed to make spending money inconvenient. You have a problem with overspending, remember? Let me show you which cash envelope system categories I found to be a perfect fit for families as they get started. The first question we need to address is what gets a cash budget? The main thing I do different is that spending categories only get a cash budget if you go in store to buy the product. So all those bills you pay online, like your internet bill, can have a digital budget. Digital budget, meaning you leave the money in your bank account, allowing the bill to be paid online. But things like clothes and groceries, where you physically walk into the store, get a cash envelope. So here are the six cash envelope system categories you need to get started. And all you need to get started are six paper envelopes and you're ready to go. If pretty things help you stay excited about the process, then you'll love my printable envelopes. I'll leave a link in the description so you can go get them printed and get started right away. Once you get the hang of things, you'll be able to customize these six categories based off what works best for your family. The first category is groceries. This category covers all food items you need to feed your family meals and snacks. And if you're about to tell me that you do something like grocery pickup, you can try giving this category a digital budget. But if you can't figure out how to stick to that, then I want you to convert to cash budget and take your shopping in store. The next category is what I call just miscellaneous. Miscellaneous is for all other household items for your family needs. Things like toiletries, batteries, dog food, or printer paper would be things that fall under this category. The third category is fun. You can use this cash envelope system category for any fun activity you have planned for the month. If you have plans for a movie night with hubby, this cash could be used for that. Eventually, you might wanna separate it into categories like eating out, babysitting, or date night, and each one of those gets its own cash envelope. But for now, you can start with just one category. The next category is clothes. Going out shopping for clothes for your family can quickly turn into an overspending disaster. The biggest tip for making sure this category covers all your needs, not wants, is to set a realistic budget and plan shop the end of season clearance sales, and buy a size or two bigger for next year. This will really help stretch those dollars. The next category is medical or dental. Medical and dental expenses are the perfect example of an unplanned expense that you can plan for. This isn't your monthly insurance payments. This category will cover any co-pays waiting for you after you visit the doctor. These unexpected trips are unavoidable and you will be so grateful you have cash set aside ready to pay the bills when the time comes. The next category is Christmas. This is the most fun cash category that we have. 
As you set aside money every month for Christmas expenses, you are instantly relieving any financial stress that usually comes along with the holiday, beautifully setting yourself up for a debt-free Christmas. It also allows you to take advantage of sales on things like gifts that come along throughout the year. Now, the next question is how much money goes into each envelope? And I'm not able to give you the exact figures on this one. In my quarterly family budget updates, I share our real life numbers on our budget to give you a real life example, but our finances aren't exactly like yours. You need a customized goal-based budget specific to your family's finances and your family's goals. When you have that in place, you will know exactly what numbers to try in your cash envelope budget. So this is the part where things get a tiny bit more involved. You'll need to first figure out what your goals are and then figure out how to turn those goals into a financial action steps that can be worked into your family budget. Did you just take like a big heavy breath? Don't worry, I can show you how to figure out this customized process. I've put together a customizable step-by-step -step plan that shows you how to do all of this called the Better Life Budgeting System. This walks you through the exact series of steps our family took when we decided we were tired of living with the stress of living under $20,000 in debt. It's the system that allowed us to take control of our finances so we could be more intentional with the way we spend our money so we could do things like save up enough cash for a couple's trip to Costa Rica and save enough money for a down payment on our first house. That system that we used is what I now call the Better Life Budgeting System. This is a real life step-by-step -step process that is 100% customizable for your family too. It's how we broke down our goals into actionable financial steps and then worked backwards to figure out what was step number one so we could get started and know we were making progress on our goals. If you wanna learn how to start using the Better Life Budgeting System today, I have a free online training that you can sign up for right now by clicking the link in the description. So let's see your envelope. It's time to take action. I don't want you to wait and say, I'm gonna do this like tomorrow or maybe later because that's when you fall into the trap of not making progress. Time flies by and before you know it, a year has passed and think of all the progress you could have done in this last year. So go take action right now. Go start your envelopes. Even if it's just writing that category titles on the envelopes, go and do it right now, today. To help hold you accountable, I want you to take a selfie and tag me on Instagram and promise you're gonna do this right now. I can't wait to see you taking the first step to creating a better life for your family. Thanks you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. I'll talk to you soon, bye.